As you know, I'm really disappointed with the project I did, the yellow gambit skirt. It was a pity because it was a video that I was really looking forward to doing and I did it really wrong. The skirt is not wearable because I didn't interface the waistband. What means that it's not structured and from the weight of the skirt it loses the shape and it's really loose. Is that I sewed it just right sides together and you're supposed to sew one part of the waistband and then fold and sew the other so you don't see any seams and I left all the seams there. Terrible. The zipper looks really good on the outside, but the inside, it's a complete mess. I just saw it again mm, on the right side and left all the seams in there. It's a pity because uh, before you sew the second part of the waistband, before you fold it, you're supposed to sew the zipper in, so everything is hidden. And that's what I want to do. I want to make a nice skirt and make it properly. So I have this salmony color fabric. It's a thick material. It looks like curtain material, really. Doesn't matter. I have my interfacing, I have uh, cottons and my zipper, and I also have some bias tape. This frays a lot. You can see how it's unraveling. I think even a zigzag stitch won't hold it, so I'm going to do a Hong Kong seam on all the panels before I put them together. And because I like to try new things with every project, I want to make a skirt with a yoke. I want to make the waistband, then it will have the yoke and then on the hip it will be gathered all around. You can do it as you like, really. I'm going to just do a straight yoke, but you can make it uh, curved or you can make, instead of gathering the skirt, you can make little pleats or even ruffles. We're going to transfer our measurements onto our fabric, cut our panels and start sewing the ones of the yoke, but only on one side. So once the waistband is interfaced, we can sew it together. We can sew the zipper, taking into account where the waistband folds, so we can finish it nicely. And for the skirt, we're going to sew the panels right sides together, gather it and sew it to the yoke, right sides together again and finish it with a hem. The first thing is to measure yourself. Uh, because it has a cut on the hip, I'm going to need uh, three measurements, the waist measurement, the hip measurement and the length you want to give the skirt. The waistband is going to be a rectangle of, uh, well, the measurement you want really. The length will be the measurement of your waist and then the width will be what you want to give it. I want to give it five centimeters so I will go so I will cut uh, 10 centimeters and the seam allowance. The hip panel will be half the measurement of your waist and half the measurement of your hip and the, the height you want to give it. I'm going to give it the same as the zipper. My zipper will get to that point, the hip area. And because I'm going to make a gut, and because I want to do a gather skirt, I'm going to give it twice the width of my hip. I finished my panels with the bias tape, but not all of them. For example, for the skirt, I use the salvage edge, so I don't think this needs any bias tape on it because it won't fray. And the waistband, this looks terrible like this. 
Uh, the waste font won't need it because it goes uh, now I'm going to interface it and this because it stick to the it sticks to the fabric it won't let it fray as much and then it goes folded inside and sewn so it won't I think it will be okay so I'm going to do that I'm going to interface Oh my god, this feels like cardboard, really, really thick. Well, the fabric is thick and then the interfacing makes it way more structured. Looks really good. The poor yellow skirt looks terrible next to this one. I have to do the same. So I did this and I also folded it so it has the shape already. So this will be the top of the waistband. So now it's a matter of putting them together. I'm going to sew the two hip bits together and the same with the skirt bit along the selvage edge. Now I have three panels instead of five. I have the waistband, I have the hip mm, yoke and I have the main skirt which I'm going to leave for now because I'm going to uh, sew the waistband to the yoke and then um, add the zipper. So I have my hip bit and what I'm going to do is to sew the waistband right sides together but only on one side. I'm going to open it and sew one first seam here. It's looking okay, I think. And now I'm going with the waistband open. Uh, I'm going to place the zippering and it's not an ideal color. It doesn't go as well, but it was the only thing they could offer me. The other one was a really bright coral. So, and I think it was worse. So I'm going with beige. My zipper is in, I've tried it on and I can fit in there and I'm quite happy about it. I ended up adding another bias tape at the bottom of the waistband inside because it was mm, fraying a lot and it was stressing me out. And then when I was sewing the zipper I thought, oh, I was discovering here, I don't know what, but it's obviously something it's done, but I didn't know and I came to a conclusion. So uh, when I was sewing it, I thought, well, if I sew the waistband down this end, then when I put it right sides out, it's done. It's really nicely finished and it is. And I'm so happy about it. I'm obviously not discovering anything new. It's something that's done, but I'm quite happy about it, look at that, so nice and neat. And I was thinking that because this is such a uh, thick fabric, I might leave the waistband as it is with the, the bias tape and sew it along the initial seam I did, the first th seam, because I think it would look nicer than folding and then if I fold, I can't see where I'm going, so I think I'm going to do that. And of course the zipper, you can sew it now at this point or at the end. I decided to do it now because um, I wanted to do to make the yoke and because the zipper has the yoke measurement, I thought it would be easier to do it at this point than at the end where you have all the fabric and all the, the complete skirt. So now I'm going to sew the skirt. Ooh. 
So I've done the skirt and it looks nice, but I couldn't gather it as you would normally do, uh, sewing and pulling the thread because the material is quite thick, I didn't even try because I thought it wouldn't work. So I did it manually, I just uh, started pleating and making gathers by dividing everything in halves so I know how much fabric I had to use for each side and it looks nice. The problem is that, of course, uh, the bias tape was a good idea so it doesn't fray but it's really bulky so um, it's a pity but I'm going to cut it I think these Hong Kong seams are good for I guess uh, for flat seams for anything that looks flat in the end but not for this obviously so I'm going to cut it and zigzag stitch both the the yoke and the skirt together so it doesn't go anywhere So when I was uh, cutting the bias tape because it was too bulky, you can see right at the end of this clip how I cut part of the yoke, the front yoke, and it's looking like this. It's such a pity, I'm so I'm gutted. I'm just I'm not lying if I told you I, I was crying for a bit because I've worked hard on this one. I've been really careful to, to finish the, the hems nicely and to do the zipper properly. It's inserted inside the waistband so it looks really nice and neat. And I think it's really a pity because it's the first panel I saw the yoke together. So to repair it, it's it's to make it the whole thing again almost. So it's a lot of time of work wasted, and it is a pity. I have more fabric. That's not a problem. If I didn't, it will be. I always try to make sewing videos and then talkative videos and even the core if I have something I have to do. So uh, what I do is that I'll hem it and in three weeks time or so I'll make a video uh, repairing this one and the yellow skirt I did as well that I need to do properly because the waistband looks terrible. So that's that. Let's have it. And this is the final result. I'm obviously wearing a pair of leggings so I don't get the video censored or anything. But this is the result. Has this happened to you? I'm gutted. I'm really sad about this because I've spent a long time thinking about it and I did write all the things I think, all the waistband and I love how it turned out with the zipper inside and the yoke. I've never done a yoke and I think it's quite a versatile uh, type of skirt because uh, the zipper goes down to the yoke. So if you get bored of the gather skirt, you can even cut it and make it again. 
using a different shape so it would be quite easy to uh, upcycle as well it wasn't a difficult material to sew with but it's really strange it's very thick it frays a lot and um, i've pressed it but even though i fire on it a few times it looks like it's been in the bin for a month but anyways i'm quite happy with the things i did right so let me know down in the comments if something like this has happened to you if you have ruined something you have been working on for a long time and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss when i fix it <laughs> bye